What is up, XRP community? I'm back with some aggressively average content for you guys. I want to talk as the bull market back on some Ripple developments with their CBDC program in Palau, an XRP price rally, and some Ripple executive XRP predictions. It's looking pretty bullish for the case of Bitcoin and other cryptos as Bitcoin is sitting at 42.2K in this month, hitting the highest prices we've seen in the past year. So what does BlackRock have to say about this? They revised their spot Bitcoin ETF to enable easier access for banks. Many analysts are predicting that this BlackRock ETF is going to be approved. It's just a matter of time. And I would not bet against BlackRock, the world's largest hedge fund in the world, with a whopping $10 trillion in assets under management. And guys, it's headlines like this that just shows crypto is here to stay. And this crypto winter is finally starting to thaw. And Bitcoin bulls are eyeing a Bitcoin price comeback as cash inflows echo late 2020. So the value days destroyed, the DD metric, it multiplies coin days destroyed by the current Bitcoin price. What does this mean? It basically is a metric to say how many Bitcoin holders are currently in profit. And right now it's at an all time high for the year. Also, inflows to uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum and also XRP are hitting all-time highs. We have bullish divergence on the price chart. This is when the price shows higher lows and the relative strength index shows lower lows. This is what you call bullish divergence. It is what it sounds like. It is a bullish metric. And over $19.7 billion flowing into Bitcoin and Ethereum today. This guy says this is the same capital inflow we saw back in December 2020 before Bitcoin surged from 18,000 to 65,000. Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I don't care, but happy holidays. History doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes. Quite peculiar how every December, except for last one, we seem to get a good crypto pump. Guys, if you want a good Merry Christmas, you want $71 for free, sign up with Webull, deposit one penny, and you're guaranteed 70 free shares of stocks. All you have to do is sign up and deposit one penny. Check out Webull in the video description below. In Visa, another bullish headline. Bitcoin has surged to 80K as stablecoins overtake Visa in 2024. CEO Jeremy Allaire is predicting the explosive growth of the sector due to a huge appetite for digital dollars. Crypto is here to stay. And another thing to back up this whole bullish sentiment, the FO, the Federal Open Markets Committee, okay, these are the guys that control the interest rate, your favorite bank, the Federal Reserve. They concluded with policymakers that keeping interest rates unchanged, the target rate for the federal funds, 5.25% to 5.50%. With further interest rate hikes off the table, crypto market participants are bullish on Bitcoin and altcoin price discoveries. The SEC versus Ripple lawsuit likely to culminate in a settlement in 2024 if there is no settlement and outcome is expected next year with the appeals window open for the regulator until 2025. And guys, you want to hear a crazy story? Well, this guy had quite the Merry Christmas, turned 16 thousand dollars into 12 million dollars have you guys heard of this coin this is not sponsored this is not promoted but this is like shiba inu or doge it's minting millionaires like crazy i wish i had known about it earlier i'm not buying it right now because it's at a 1 billion market cap and anything that goes up this quickly typically has a correction but who knows maybe this is the next shiba inu and what's fueling this bonk coin it's the meme coin of the Solana network. Now, Solana was a coin that FTX held billions of. And so when FTX went down, Solana indirectly basically got friendly fired, got hit with a drive-by. Now, FTX has kind of settled. Um, Solana is starting to have a rebuild. And why is Solana rebuilding? Why is it going up in price? Well, because it's like Ethereum but you don't have to wait two minutes for a transaction and the fees are a lot better. So this bonk coin is the meme coin of Solana. And this guy 
basically went long on a thousand bonk USDT. A thousand bonk just means it's already a leveraged trade, and he didn't he doubled his leverage, so he went six thousand x long on this with sixteen thousand dollars, and he's up ten million dollars, and he basically. Makes his case for the new bull run. The Fed has pivoted interest rates. Rate cuts will be coming soon. Bitcoin ETFs likely in January. Bitcoin having in a few months. 2024 is election year. Macro looks good for the most explosive bull run ever. A lot of people are saying that, guys, that this next bull run is going to be the most explosive bull run ever. Personally, I think the COVID-19 one that we had in 2020 was that. Then there's also people saying that this next bull run will be the last bull run because once enough smart money gets in, you're gonna see crypto move like the stock market, right? You're not gonna get rich overnight. But it's a crazy story. It goes to show, even though we're not in an explosive bull market right now, there's still money to be made in this market. Guys, this guy turned $16,000 into eight figures, $12 million. But he says, I do not intend to close the position anytime soon. So hopefully this guy is already rich because that would be, a very, very sad amount of money to lose. Ex Goldman Sachs executive says he's long on XRP after pouncing on an opportunity of a lifetime. This is Raul Paul. And just more headlines backing up this bullish sentiment. You guys don't have to listen to me, but I would listen to someone who has been an ex Goldman Sachs executive coming from the traditional space and he's long on XRP. Why? Because, guys, 99% of crypto will go to zero in the future. Cryptos that you want to hold are ones that are going to be used by people, right? Bitcoin is not used by people. Now, maybe Bitcoin does have longevity in this space just because it was the first mover advantage. That's a big advantage. But no one's really using Bitcoin. XRP, it has product market fit. It solves problems for businesses. And that's why we're so bullish on this one. And Palau advances their CBDC with Ripple in phase two of the program launch. The Ministry of Finance of Palau officially launched the second phase of its Palau stablecoin program. Jay Anson, a cybersecurity consultant in Palau, an advisor to the Ministry of Finance, confirmed the program's second phase in December 15th. He said Palau aims to extend its partnership with Ripple in phase two, allowing the Palau stablecoin team to leverage Ripple's central bank digital currency platform and technical expertise. Palau stablecoin. It's a digital currency pegged to the US dollar, which uses Ripple's XRP ledger. Additionally, Anson highlighted that the focus of the second phase, excuse me, of the Palau stablecoin pilot program will establish new collaborations for marketing and sustainable development goals. Phase two of this program will also prioritize the development of a digital ecosystem and increased user engagement, emphasizing adherence to regulatory compliance. So Ripple is chugging along, good to see. And Ripple executive predicts a crypto landscape shift in 2024. Ripple's chief legal officer, Stuart Alderati, has shared his insights on the future of the crypto landscape in 2024. He discussed predictions about Ripple's legal dispute with the US SEC. Alderati predicts the possible resolution of Ripple's lawsuit with the SEC in 2024, and he cautions against the SEC's persistent regulation by enforcement strategy. Alderati predicts a significant role for the judiciary in curbing SEC overreach, suggesting that ongoing legal conflicts could escalate to a confrontation in the U.S. Supreme Court. On regulations, Alderati expects U.S. lawmakers to agree on the need for crypto regulations. However, he expects a deadlock in implementation, which could leave U.S. crypto firms vulnerable while other countries advanced in regulatory clarity and innovation. We've been seeing this with countries like Singapore and Dubai getting regulatory clarity, but U.S. crypto firms are stuck in a landlock. And right here, guys, our favorite man of the hour, Gary Gensler. Let's hear what he has to say about Bitcoin ETFs approval process going for a spot Bitcoin ETF. I know you're facing a window in early January. What does that look like? Well, Sarah, we have, I think it's between eight and a dozen filings. I, I'm a chair of a commission. I'm not to prejudge anything. So that's going through the process right now. Uh, and as you might know, uh, we had in the past uh, uh, denied a number of these applications, but the courts 
uh, here in the District of Columbia uh, weighed in on that. And so we're taking a new look at this uh, based upon those court rulings. What does that sound like to you guys? It sure sounds to me like Bitcoin ETFs are on the brink of getting approved as they have looked at them in the past and they were declined. But because of court rulings in the District of Columbia, they are now going to re-examine these Bitcoin ETFs. And if that's not bullish for the whole space, I don't know what is. Guys, happy holidays. Thanks for watching my video. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Until next time.